If you have that, then all you have is resuscitation. Resuscitations happen all the time. It's good news for the person, I guess, coming back to life. It's good news for their friends. But it's not the birth of a world religion. I believe that what happened to the earliest Christians was an infusion of power, something that we call religious experience, a sense of being empowered by a force that came from outside themselves and that gave them capacities that they didn't previously have. But I think they saw in the life of this Jesus this profundity of love that would not stop loving even when it was crucified and that that was the power that finally said there's something about love that cannot die. And as divided as Christians are today about what actually happened that first Easter Sunday, they are united in this belief. Suffering and death are not ever the last chapter. The power of life and goodness and hope are stronger than these. The questions of faith, belief, and our place in eternity are powerful and divisive. The way people have answered those questions has shaped the course of history. 2,000 years ago, a group of 12 disciples believed they had found the answers to those questions in the risen Jesus. Today, nearly 2 billion Christians around the world continue to be caught up in the force and the power of their experience. Some of you came because you are a follower of Jesus Christ, and today is one of the greatest days of, of your life. Jesus rose from the dead and is alive. The resurrection is a fact, and so life after death is a fact. We are celebrating death vanquished by the empty tomb. When someone comes up and says, well, how can you believe that stuff? Well, there are days when it's hard to believe it. And that's what makes faith a leap. It's what makes faith a risk. I mean, that's what faith is. <laughs> faith is the substance of things to be hoped for. Life after death means to give your life away, it means to give your love away, it means to give your being away so that other people can live and love and be. It gives me reason to get out of bed every day, it allows me to be a better mom to my kids, a better wife to my husband, because I know there's something bigger than here. That's what it's all about. This is our reason for worshiping and praising Him. Nothing would be relevant in our lives if this day didn't exist. I think we will discover someday that all life is deeply interconnected in ways that we can't even imagine now. celebrate the fact that Jesus defied the odds, that Jesus came back from the grave. That's got to be the greatest news there is. Everybody, I think, in his or her right mind, wants to believe the grave is not the end. It gives me the strength to know that you can come back and you can, you can be stronger. So that's what Easter is for me. It's a day of hope. When we die, there is life after death. It's a wonderful day. Hallelujah.